Welcome to a uh, tiring new episode of the Devant Compendium, the show where I discuss the mythology, design, and game history uh, of your favorite Megami Tensei demons. With Persona 5 finally being out today, the last thing I want to do is waste valuable hours sleeping when I could be busy phantom thiefing. So I figured the best way to help keep me awake is to learn all about sleep. So today, we're talking about Sandman. The Sandman is a fairy-like being from Germanic folklore that was said to help people, especially children, fall asleep at night by throwing magical sand into their eyes. The myth even says that your sleepies, or eye boogers, or whatever you want to call them, that you rub from your eyes when you wake up, is just leftover sand from his visit. Which is a lot more charming than what that stuff actually is, I'm... Not gonna go into it here. It's gross. You can look it up yourself if you want. Sandman's compendium entry from Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey says that Sandman is a fairy from rural Germany rumored to put people to sleep using the magic sand he carried in his bag. If a victim resisted, he would sit on their eyelids to force them to sleep. Sounds cute and harmless enough, right? Well, the compendium entry from Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse added an extra line to the entry. For bad children who still wouldn't sleep, he would scoop their eyes out. Oh, why did he have to say that extra thing? Sandman has been featured in movies, cartoons, comics, and other realms of popular culture, but his first major appearance outside of general lore seems to be in the short story Der Sandman, written by E.T.A. Hoffman in 1816. This story portrayed him as a rather nightmarish creature that resulted in a lot of trauma for the character Nathaniel. In fact, this does seem to be the earliest instance of explaining eyeball scooping as part of the Sandman's bag of tricks, and also mentioning that he lives on the moon. Not sure if that was ever brought up before now or not. A much happier and more lighthearted story featuring the Sandman came from Hans Christian Andersen, Old Lukoi, where he's depicted more in the happier, more positive way we're used to him, sneaking into children's rooms and chucking sand in their faces so they'd fall asleep. Okay, so maybe it's a weird thing to look at no matter what side of the coin he's on. As far as design goes, Sandman hasn't changed too awful much throughout the course of the series, and he's one of only a handful of demons who is essentially a palette swap of himself. Originally introduced with a golden head and blue pajamas, he's also appeared with a silver head and red pajamas, which seems to be his more default design in recent titles. What's most interesting about this is it may actually be a direct reference to the Hans Christian Andersen tale, where when describing the appearance of the character, he writes, He is nicely dressed. His coat is made of silken fabric. It is impossible to say of what color, for it changes from green to red, and from red to blue, as he turns from side to side. The crescent moon-shaped head may simply be to give him a semblance of nighttime symbolism, but could also refer back to the earlier, darker tale of Sandman living on the moon. The big sack he carries features a bullseye, which makes perfect sense. Eyes are small targets, and you've got to keep your aim sharp. Plus, it's a bull's eye. It makes sense, trust me. And then his shoes are, um, curved and pointy. Perfect for eyeball scooping! It's already confirmed he'll sit on a kid's head. His feet are in prime position to pluck them out like vegetables. Sandman's other design stems from the Devil Children or Demi Kids games where he was known as Slumber. You can clearly see the design here was based heavily off of the existing design, but there's one small detail that Slumber has over Sandman that makes him stand out. One teensy tiny itsy bitsy little- He's got an eyeball! Whose eyeball is that? Did he just scoop that out of some kid's head? Why is it floating? Is he just tossing it to himself like a ball? Is this a game to him? Why is the Demi Kids design so much creepier than the normal one? Sorry, sorry, it's just... Really hard to ignore that detail. So how about we move on to game history? Like many demons, Sandman was first introduced in the original Devil Summoner game. He was a fairly low-level demon with access to wind skills and, surprisingly, not the ability to put enemies to sleep. While this was rectified in Soul Hackers and quite a few other games, it is very peculiar that Sandman did not debut with the Dormina skill, especially since it did exist back then. One of Sandman's biggest roles was in the DS title Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey. In the first dungeon of the game, a Sandman will task players with the EX mission, Sandman's Backup Bag. This task is simple enough. Sandman lent one of his bags to a friend, so you just chat with a Sandman you encounter in a random battle to get it back for a chakra pot. Presumably, this quest will be sticking around in the upcoming 3DS version, Deep Strange Journey. 
Sandman made his debut in the Persona series in Persona 4, where he was a member of the Strength Arcana, and has apparently swapped over to the Magician Arcana as of Persona 5. That's right, not gonna make that mistake twice. Looking at you, Huapo. Persona 4 also marked Sandman's first appearance as a 3D model. Sandman has made appearances in quite a few trailers for Persona 5, but the one that stands out to me the most is his appearance in the Velvet Room trailer. Sandman, for scooping out all those eyeballs, I hereby sentence you to death. Behold its new form. So there you have it, Sandman, the sand-slinging, sleepy-time sprite. Did I leave out something you thought was important? Was I just plain wrong about something? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to let me know who you'd like to see me talk about in future episodes. That's going to do it for this episode of the Demonic Compendium, and I'll see you next time. But be careful while you rest that a demon doesn't take over your body. <laughs>